Walden Expectations 2018 Critical Thinking, Scholarly Writing, Academic Integrity A Spa Guide for First-Term Students by Dr. Joyce Haynes The interactive chapters in this Write with Strength, Write with Style audio booklet and the companion Spa Guide for First-Term Students utilize PowerPoint software for visual appeal, audio narration, and accessibility. These chapters go beyond traditional bulleted PowerPoint presentations to fit your individual learning style. Plan to spend some time studying each page and accessing links to videos and other guides. As you listen to the narration and observe symbolic images, stop and take notes. Create your own color-coded checklist. Visualize ways that you can use this advice in other courses. Assignment rubrics. Course information tabs lead to assignment rubrics for discussions, applications, and course projects. Walden rubrics explain assignment criteria for responding to assignment directions, critical thinking, scholarly writing, and academic integrity. All Walden instructors follow the rubrics listed in each course. Evaluation and grade comments. SPA faculty refer to rubric criteria when evaluating each assignment. Read your instructor's comments in the gradebook for every assignment. Pay special attention to them and check these comments each week so that you can learn from any possible mistakes and improve your grades in the future. Look for your instructor's possible use of track changes to comment on application assignments. For uh, video guides, look at uh, Finding Your Grades and Instructor Grade Comments. Click on this link and also on how to use track changes. Uh, the, the second link here. These are um, actually very easy to use once you uh, start practicing and you'll find that enormously helpful. Also check out SPA booklet Write with Strength, Write with Style Chapter 2 for explanation about rubrics and a variety of academic support systems to help you meet rubric criteria. Chapter 1 offers strategies for goal setting and time management. Critical thinking. Graduate level assignments require students to analyze, synthesize, and evaluate scholarly texts and peer-reviewed articles in addition to other information sources. Walden instructors also encourage students to apply course information to current real-world problems as scholar practitioners. Check out this video guide from procon.org called Critical Thinking Explained. Using Evidence Walden University expects graduate students to distinguish between objective facts and subjective opinions or advertising. Students must evaluate the credibility and academic quality of each source of information that they use in assignments. Also, students must cite every source that they use in course discussion posts, application assignments, and final course projects. These citations demonstrate your critical thinking and your academic integrity. We will spend uh, quite a bit of time looking at the uh, issues of plagiarism, so be prepared for that. Um, check the video guide from the Walden's Academic uh, Guide Writing Center using evidence. And also look at the SPA booklet, Write with Strength, Write with Style, Chapter 3, about the meal plan that will explain how to create and organize well-developed paragraphs. Peer-reviewed references. Scholarly analysis depends upon identifying and using credible, objective research instead of subjective opinion, bias, or marketing. 
For advice on identifying and locating peer-reviewed articles at the Walden Library, see this link. Also, look at Chapter 4 of the SPA booklet for an explanation of peer review criteria, where to find peer review articles, and reasons for retracting articles from a peer reviewed journal. Scholarly writing. At Walden University, graduate level writing, in other words, using formal academic English grammar and diction, is a requirement for both discussion posts and application assignments. Additionally, students must support all claims with specific in-text citations to each resource that they use to complete their assignments. Students must also include each of these citations, but no other works, in a reference list at the end of the discussion post or application. So what this means is that you should not put anything in your reference list that you have not cited in your paper or discussion post. Academic Integrity and APA Format Throughout the United States and Europe, scholars insist upon citation of references to identify all original sources of information. Walden scholars use the American Psychological Association, APA format, for all internal citations and reference lists. For general APA advice, see the link on this page. Also, see Chapter 7 of the SPA booklet for current examples of SPA specialization uh, references to illustrate the APA rules in a colorful, user-friendly approach. You can print off this guide, and I think you will find it a very handy reference list. Warning, warning, beware. Plagiarism is a crime. Even accidental plagiarism can result in a failing grade for an assignment or an entire course. Some plagiarists have damaged their reputation, lost their careers, been expelled from the university, or had their degrees revoked. Be careful. Do not risk accidental plagiarism. See this guide uh, on this page, and also see chapters 5 and 6 of the SPA booklet to learn about some infamous cases of plagiarists and their dire consequences and also the ways that you can identify and avoid this crime. Walden University requires students to use course paper templates for all of their application assignments. Watch the video uh, course paper template with the link on this page for more information. Announcements and Walden email. SPA faculty post frequent course announcements, which they may copy to your Walden email for your convenience. These announcements offer extra advice on assignments, free webinars, current news related to your specialization, and much more. Check your course announcements and email frequently. But please be aware that hyperlinks and attachments in course announcements may not open in your email because of compatibility issues. So log on to the course to open the hyperlinks. Also, take time to go through uh, these two video guides. Communicating with instructors is under five minutes, and navigating Blackboard takes about 10 minutes. Uh, I think you'll find both of them very helpful. What visual clues or symbols did you detect in this booklet? Work your mind with brain teasers, jigsaw puzzles, crosswords, or quiz books, and always look for the connections, look for the big picture. Take some time to reflect.
This chapter uses symbols of flowers to call your attention to basic expectations of graduate students and to help you remember concepts. If you were creating your own guide, what symbols would you use? Course pre-assignment. Before you post anything in our official course discussions, confirm in the separate Walden Expectations thread of our class cafe that you have read this guide, understand and agree to the protocols for demonstrating critical thinking, scholarly writing, and academic integrity. Number one, share your most valuable lesson or resource that you found in this guide. Do not use any direct quotations. Number two, what is your favorite image here? Why? Number three, offer your suggestions for future additions. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you great success at Walden and beyond. Dr. Joyce Haynes.